Hey guys, the Stanger here is back again. Today I'll be bringing you guys the new update 2.2 Alpha, meaning it's only playable on the test server. I'll put the link to the test server down there, so if you are interested, please give it a try. First, as always, let's start off with new vehicles. In version 2.2 Alpha, 4 new vehicles are added for both sides. M60A3 is now available in NATO side and T62M for the Soviets. These two new tanks are heavier in both armament and armor compared to the previous tanks we had. Its velocity is much slower but has a stronger main cannon with slower reloading time. Now if you look carefully, there is something that looks like a mini turret on top of the main turret. This is a commander hatch equipped with heavy MG, and it is controllable when second player is on the tank as well as the first one. We also have two new anti-air vehicles, Strela 10 and MIM-72 Chaparral. They are both equipped with quad mouse guided rockets in their back. Although it might sound too simple, these quad guided rockets can be really useful when fighting against enemy choppers. As you guys may already notice, there are some changes done on the map as well. Some objects are now textured and they have also added a fence surrounding the base and the runway for the new jets. There are some fixes on the previous vehicles too. Now the heavy tanks emit smoke and muzzle flash when they shoot their main cannon. This really adds a nice effect to the gameplay. I also found that when you call an airstrike or an artillery sport, after the impact dust will fall from the roof. Not sure if this is meant to happen though. In the previous update video, I think you guys remember me saying long viewing distance is awesome. Yes, it is awesome, but not with the current state of the game. It's really easy to camp and spawn kill using the choppers in the new map, and no one likes being raped in their spawn. This needs to be fixed. Like how about making the anti-air defense stronger? Then maybe the opposing team needs to form a ground assault squad to secure the enemy air defense before they can send choppers? See, this game has a huge opportunity to grow big, like who would have ever imagined playing in a huge map of Sandstorm with actual tactics on a browser game. I really hope that Rocketeer would come with a successful beta update in the new future. I would also like to thank you for watching my video, now I have more than 90 subscribers and 20,000 views on my channel. I love you guys, I hope you all enjoyed my video, please rate, comment and subscribe for more.